What's good? It's Motor City Lions Talk. We back. Touching on uh, the Matt Patricia subject again. And should Martha Ford and the Detroit Lions void Matt Patricia contract or fire him for, for neglecting to uh, bring up this uh, sexual assault case that he was actually indicted on that was, uh, you know, dismissed because the, uh, the, the, the woman, the complainer, the complaint, plaintiff whatever you call her uh excuse me been long been a long night um she she couldn't handle the emotional distress and and pressure of a trial so she went to the prosecutor and told him no nah, we i don't want to go through it you know drop the charges and the charges were dropped um detroit news broke the story um <laughs> hey and and, and 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 for my people that live in detroit in the inner city y'all know Crab in a buckle, crab in a bucket mentality in Detroit is huge. You know, they 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 always gonna pull you back down. You know, if they can pull you down in this city, they will. In the Detroit news, now if it's like okay, the the St. Louis you know newspaper is gonna break this story, or Packer or or the Green, Green Bay newspaper is gonna break the story, and you wanted to break it first because you had competition to break it, or you didn't want. Any of the outside sources breaking the news in Detroit because that's what usually happens. The, the the sports reporters in Detroit rarely know what's going to happen before you know Adam Scheffner or 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 whoever it may be or from the NFL Network Ian Rappaport or, or whoever it may be. Those NSPN Pro Football Focus or, or or Pro Football Talk reporters or NFL Network reporters know what's going on with most Detroit sports in Detroit football. More than what the reporters already know, they already ahead of them. So I, I, I probably guess that the Detroit News say, "Oh, we we finally can get one up on ESPN NFL Network with this one." Oh, New England, they ain't never report this, so let's go ahead and do it. You know, and, and that's and that's pitiful though, man. That this that we talked about that already, but that's pitiful. But um, Martha Ford has set a standard though. This is my point about it. She set a standard. She said she did not know about this. You know, she had uh, did a background check. You know, that was a job. They paid all the money to find out everything about Matt Patricia. And did Bob Quinn know about it? He probably didn't know about it either. He may or may not. Bill Belichick. There's no backlash on the New England Patriots, just the Detroit Lions. And Detroit Lions can be seven, eight, nine, and zero. Shit, they could be fifteen and zero going to sixteen and zero, and and, and uh, first take and undisputed. And ESPN won't even acknowledge the Lions in the news. The only time the Lions get acknowledged is with some of negativity, and now they're making all these 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 uh these newspapers and making all these uh these front page uh uh breaking news things now. You know, during the draft, we couldn't even get them to elaborate on any of our picks. But like I said, Martha Ford set the standard. She don't want any domestic violence. She won't take a chance on certain players in the draft because of domestic violence. She wouldn't take a chance on certain players in free agency because of domestic violence. You know? They, she didn't want none, no negativity on the team. She wanted all choir boys. All people with great backgrounds. And your leader of your team has a fishy sexual assault case. And then they come out and make a statement yesterday to Detroit Lions saying, well, he was 21, you know, on spring break. He Basically, like he was young and dumb. No. Young and dumb is 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 going somewhere, getting stranded, not having enough money, you know, you know, doing something stupid, you know, um, you know, going out a night of drinking and crashing your car, or 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 whatever, you know, you know, stuff stuff that young people do, catastrophic things that young people do. Okay, young and dumb is not going out there and, and getting indicted for a sexual assault case. That's weird, and. They trying to defend him. He said, "Well, they trying to assassinate my character by bringing this back up." I mean, I mean, when you got skeletons in the closet, what's done in the, in the dark was come to the light. You know, don't try to play the victim role here. You know, I understand that. You know, you might have been innocent, innocent, or might not have been innocent. Okay, but it is there, and it was just gonna be a matter of time before it came up. It is new social media age and the inter- the, age, the the new age internet and stuff of that nature. So so Matt Patricia is trying to play the victim role. Can't do that in this situation. You got to stand there, take it on the chin, say I beat the case. 
You know, I'm, I I never made that mistake again. I've grown. I'm 30 or 40 some, 50 some years old, whatever he is. And that is what it is. You got to own up to that. And even if you were innocent or not innocent, you were indicted. They were going to take it to trial until the accuser said she couldn't deal with the emotional distress and the pressure of a trial. So that 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 just makes you that more skeptical of what happened. And before TMZ, ESPN outside the line, ESPN, NFL Network, the whoever, whoever contacts that lady, the Detroit Lions and Matt Patricia better get to her first. Make her sign a confidentiality agreement and, and pay her off to shut up. Because that's what's going to happen next. They going to get to her. She going to sell her story. It, it was never probably about emotional distress. Or pressure of a trial. You know, reading between the lines, perhaps it was some money exchange there for her to go away. You know, they said it was no confidentiality agreement. Those words those weren't too big or as popular as they is now, especially they're very, very popular amongst star athletes or or or, or prominent people in today's entertainment world. So they better get to her, you know, contact her, shut up. Because this is about to manifest into something bigger than what it is now. Because if she started talking and telling us her story and they show her enough money and she's in a position today where she's not financial stability or this can take her over the top and she can retire. Because every day she probably going to work, punching the clock and she tired and tired. So if somebody offer you enough money to tell your story, you know, and speak out something that happened, whatever, 22 years ago. If she's still alive or whatever, and she still remember and get help, yeah, yeah, she gonna take it. She got bills and everything else to play. She tired of probably going to work, punching the clock. She probably got a family, got a husband, got kids right now. That kids that they, they're probably ready to go to college or they're already in college that she gotta pay scholarships and stuff for. Enough money, everybody got a price, like it or not, in most situations. But should they fire Matt Patricia? Um, because of this information, hell yeah, I'm gonna keep it one hundred. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Because if Martha Stewart's, you know, stands on domestic violence and and not, you know, drafting players with with with, with questionable backgrounds, and she's so against domestic violence, void this contract and look for you a new coach. Because, um, you know, you can't have this. You know, you can't have this. this is another black eye on an organization of many black eyes. I hate to say it, but you know that's the standard she set. Even if he beat the case, it's so much. It's so much uh, left to be desired in this case. You know, it is. It's a lot to be desired in this case. And he didn't disclose this. And I, he probably felt like it wasn't going to come back up. I'm pretty sure, you know, Bob Quinn talks to people in the New England Patriots um, office and stuff of that nature. You know, but if that's the standard she she holding to, because if one of them players out there, if, uh, you know, Jalen M- uh, Maven Reeves, just use it for example, if he goes out there and catches a domestic violent case and it's all alleged in the ear and whatever it may be, they probably going to release him. Real talk. They probably going to release him. If if it's theoretic or if it's a it's a uh Tavon Wilson or it's a uh you know, a King Spence when he got traded or if it's a uh you know, Anthony Zinner or Zettel, excuse me. If it's one of them they probably cutting them. Real talk. They probably cutting them. If they in this type of, if they in a situation that got anything to do with domestic violence, and Matt Patricia, your leader, is out here, you know, alleged doing this. But the reason I say get rid of him, a lot of people gonna get mad at it because he didn't undisclose. He didn't disclose it. He didn't bring it up. You bring stuff like that up. And I wonder if he took the Giants job, would this would have came up? Absolutely not. And maybe the Detroit News was sitting on this for a while. So maybe they would have broke it just to one up, just to upstage the New York media and the New York press. Or maybe they could have gave them the source to them. So no matter probably where he went, it's probably was going to come out, you know, via the Detroit News. But I, I feel that was a punk move by them. We shouldn't even be put in this position. And it's sad that they just want to put this, this organization in a position to be the laughing stock of the sports world. But in a perfect world, he should be fired. The contract should be voided. 
they should go on and look for another coach because then, I mean, this was, I mean, I understand he wasn't charged, but if you look at the stories, it's hypocritical. But I, I agree that he should, and, and not in the perfect world, in the world that we live in today, he should keep his job. I mean, this is water under the bridge. As long as the Lions um, tie their loose ends in this situation, which is get to the accuser, you know, make sure she don't talk, uh, make her sign a confidentiality agreement, send her the bag, which is the check, the money for people to understand that, and just sew this situation up. My lawyers will be down there talking to her right now. If Matt Patricia is the coach that I want to go forward with, and this is not going to, to in my mind, I'm going to keep him because it's not big, you know, this is right now, it hasn't manifested to the point where I have to get rid of him or have to fire him or even consider that. Well, it's under consideration right now, like it or not. But we keeping them. We made an organization agreement with Bob Quinn, Rod Wood, and uh, and Martha Ford that we going to keep them. Then we need to contact that the individual accuser and make sure she don't talk none. Because if she get the yapping, the Lions going to be looking for a new coach, y'all. Because all the details start coming out and TMZ get to her. And you know TMZ going to blow it out of proportion. They going to put some... They're going to put some stank on it. They're going to put some seeds and salt and pepper on it to make the story sound worse than what it was. But right now, I stand by Matt Patricia. He the coach. We hired him. He was only accused. It, you know, and he and the charges were dropped. But I got to get to the accuser, man, to sew this all the way up so we can move forward. This is going to be hanging over. This is going to be hanging over our season the whole year. Oh, the Lions win eight in a row. Or the Lions lose five or eight or whatever it may be. But Matt Patricia, then... This is going what it's going to be. That's the theme of the season. So if y'all don't want that to continue to really be the theme of the season and really, you know, uh, cast a shadow over the season, they need to get in touch with the accuser, man. Like I said, a lot of people are going to take this the wrong way. I said in the perfect world, he should be fired. But I think the Lions should stand by him. They truly believe this is the coach they want to move forward with. And he the coach that's going to continue to win. And his reputation since then ain't nothing, nothing else shady. Rerun the background check on them. You know, make sure everything good. Because if there's anything close to that or he stole a Fago pop back in 86 or whatever it is, it's going to come up. So make sure you run his background check again. You dig and do, you know, dig up dig up and see if you can find any dirt on him. And if you clean from there, you get to the accuser, you, you tie that knot up real quick, you loosen, you tighten that loose end, and then we're going to march into the future with you. But if anything else is fishy in his background or if he even flinch at his wife or some other woman to do something or anything in his background, he got to be out of here. But Motor City Sports Talk, we gone.